So what is the solution now? Whilst we wait for the period of contention the Lord spoke about, at least that's what he told me in Mount Assembly. I don't know what any other person heard. What should we do? If you're an intercessor, you would have the answer to this question. What is the answer? The anointing of Mordecai. Take the gates. If you could not take the seat, take the gate. Only priesthood can teach you this thing I'm saying now. If you lost the seat, don't lose the gate. Because if you can hold the gate, very soon you will hold the king. Seat is influence. Do you believe me? By virtue of a seat, a man can influence people. A seat that gives a man authority to be able to influence military. Influence this. Influence that. That's what seat is. Influence. So if the battle is a battle of influence, one thing that is as strong as a seat is what? The gate. Because with the gate, you can influence the people in the city. I know I'm boring you. So if we truly interceded, we'll not be wasting time saying, this prophet didn't get it right. This prophet got it wrong. This prophet, Okay, the ones who prophesied and said Tinubu will win. How has that helped us? So you see the immaturity of these people. To them, it's a game of prediction. We are talking about territorial warfare and priesthood. In their mind, this is prediction. From the seat, from the gate, sorry, we can walk our way into the, into the king's palace because the man at the gate can actually save the king. You don't know how powerful. Now the question is, what are the gates of my territory? What can be considered gates? It's by this wisdom, Judah, can have Jehoshaphat a king that will have influence if not over Israel first but over Judah. Meanwhile, they've started taking gates already. Your refinery now, they've taken it. A strong man has put a gate there. Yeah, the church is sitting down and every pastor is taking their might, mic to attack the pastors that didn't get it right. What are you doing? That's the question. Your members gathering to listen to you. What can they do? All of them. The blind leading the blind. They will all become a bunch of comedic symbols in the land. What are the mighty men doing? People who can go into the garrison of the Philistine and still take well. And still take water from that well. What are they doing? The fact that David is on the run from Absalom does not mean David is still not the anointed of God. These are the things if you say and you bring it outside there, you will see Christians attacking you. And you wonder, do these people understand anything about kingdom? A anything. You have to go and sit down and study the life of our cousins, the Muslims. Let that life, let their life become a syllabus of study. You see when the Bible speaks of tarrying, go and learn what it means to tarry from them. Do you know what it means to tarry? Do you know what it means when scripture says, though thy beginning may be small, that letter end will be greatly, go and learn it. They will come to a place and a man will start as Meshai, come back 20 years later, that whole street will be named after them. A Muslim will have a house. He will fool that house with his people. A Christian will have a house. He will lock that house and stay there alone. What a foolish generation. An allergy will have, we have money. He will go and buy a house in the street and import many of his brethren to stay there and then give them bikes. A Christian will have the same money, he will change his 